your body's been through a lot the last few years, and and this week might have been the most of it. 40 grueling games. How did you feel physically as the week went on? You know, I really felt fine. This uh, up until the sciatic thing started nagging at me. It's the only thing. I've been. I felt great. I haven't been tired. I haven't had any soreness anywhere else. So, um, but I somehow I made it through it. The flip side of that is, is after all that you've gone through to get back here, how was your head? How were you feeling mentally as this all went along? Well, I mean, you know, a little unsure of myself, not not knowing how I was going to perform, you know, especially if I was in a pressure situation. Um, that's kind of how it was the whole time. I'd bowl some more and more, and, and I'd say to myself, wow, did I just do that? Wow, did I just do that? And it just continued the whole tournament. And as it went along, you did sort of become one of the major storylines of this tournament. Then you make it all the way to the finals, and here standing in front of you is one of the other big storylines in this tournament, your old friend Carolyn, who's won everything in the world except this. Yes. What's your thoughts when you find out that it's Carolyn? Uh, not happy about it. <laughs> I, I just know Carolyn. I knew Carolyn before anyone else knew Carolyn. And she literally is one of the toughest competitors I've ever seen. And I knew it was going to be a tough match. Um, I just think that things kind of went my way. I carried, she didn't. And uh, but yeah, it was a little uh, scary when I when I knew it was going to be Carolyn. But I was happy for that. I'd rather have, have I would rather bowl Carolyn for the match. I'd rather lose to Carolyn than anyone else. And she said the same thing before she st we started. She said, "Hey, if I'm going to lose. I'd rather be, be to you." So then we get to the final match, and you've got the front eight. You've got the hundred thousand dollars now hanging over your head, plus the title. Uh, what, what's going through your head when you when, when this is happening? Well, I I didn't want to, you know, get lax and throw a split or something, and. I, I don't. I don't remember at that point if the if the match was completely over. I think I still had to get a mark or something. So I was really still concerned about the match. But when I threw it and I knew it was gonna hit the pocket, I was so disappointed when it didn't strike. I mean, then I was like, oh, I would love to have hundred thousand dollars. But really, the three hundred on TV would probably be the most exciting thing about it, and in a major. And now you're wearing the green jacket. You've lifted the trophy over your head. Is it? This must be surreal. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's set in yet. I just, I, I keep saying this over and over. I can't believe that I did this. I just can't believe it. On day one, you were leading. We, we stood here and we talked, and I said, is this going to be the comeback story of this tournament? You said way too early. Can we call it the comeback story of the year now? I would call it an official comeback. <laughs> but there's more to come. It's not over. I still got the women's series, so I'm hoping to maybe uh, try to do well there, too.